What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How's it going today, guys? Well, the product I'm going to be showing you is something that was sent to me free for review from Sennheiser. And today I have the MKE 400 Shotgun Camera Mic. And this uh, microphone retails for $200. And just so you know, all of my audio that you're listening to right now is actually being recorded on the MKE 400. So now let's talk about some specs. So what we have here is a super cardioid mic. The frequency response is from 40 to 20,000 hertz. And it's a boom style mic, so it records audio only in the front. And it, and it rejects all the side noise. So it's optimized for video recordings. And it's very small. It's only about 5 inches long, as you can see here, compared to the Rode Video Mic Go. It's much smaller than that. So it's not going to stick out in front of your camera and get in the frame. And so it's not really ideal for DSLR cameras, especially if you're going to be using like wide-angle lenses. You don't want that, that microphone to get in the way. It's very solidly built. It's made of a, a rugged metal housing, so it's scratch resistant and it's really tough. It has some good weight to it, and it, but it's still small enough to pack in a small camera bag. So included with the mic is that it comes with a removable foam windshield. And if you want, you can even purchase a dead cat or a basket windshield for, from Sennheiser to replace it if you're going to be using it in really windy situations. So the whole microphone works off one AAA battery, which uh, provides more than 300 hours of battery life. And so, of course, this is made to work with a shoe mount on your camera. And it even has a threaded screw mount underneath that. So if you want to mount it on a tripod, you can do that as well. And on the bottom, we also see it has a built-in shock mount for rejection of any handling noise that you may have while using your camera. So it's not going to pick up any of that noise. On the back, we have a non-removable uh, coiled cable. And at the end of that is a 3.5 millimeter stereo mini jack. And so this cable will stretch out to about two feet. So on the side of the mic, we have some switches here. Uh, the plus and minus here is for long and short distance recording. In the middle, we have an LED light that lets you know that there's enough battery life in, left in it. And then we have the on and off switch. And if you put that switch into the middle position, this is for the uh, wind noise filter. So that's the microphone. So let's go check out some sound tests. All right, guys, so now let's do a sound test, okay? I'm gonna walk about 20 feet back and I got the camera in uh, short mode right now for short distance recording. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the ABCs while walking towards the camera so you can see what the audio sounds like, okay? There's not too much AC sound in here. Keep it quiet so you can hear. So I'm gonna go back and then uh, see what the, what the audio quality sounds like. <clears throat> so this is about 20 feet away right here on, from where I'm standing, okay? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, so now that was in, uh, the camera focused on my face, I'm sorry, there you go. I'm going to switch it down to long distance recording mode and then you can see what the difference sounds and the quality, okay? So I'm going to switch that now. Alright, so now I'm switching to long distance recording, so I'm going to go back 20 feet again and do the ABCs walking towards the camera once more, okay? Okay, so that is the difference between the long and short uh, recording modes on the camera, on the uh, microphone itself. So let's go outside and give uh, the wind noise filter a test as well. So it's not too windy outside, but I'm sure there'll be a little bit of wind, so we'll see what the audio quality sounds like when I'm recording outside with that filter on, okay? So let's go outside. Okay guys, so now we're outside, and I have the uh, air noise filter turned on right now, the wind noise filter I should say, and I'm about, uh, about 10 feet away from the camera and I have it in long distance recording mode so it should be projecting or picking up my voice a little better now but this is basically what it would sound like if you're recording outside while there's a little bit of wind blowing. It's not too heavy but I can, I can hear the wind against my ears blowing past my ears so I'm pretty sure the mic is picking a little bit of the audio up. But there's also some outside noise as well. There's a big air conditioning unit down here. So this is kind of the, the experience you would get if you're recording audio on the camera with a little bit of outside noise with the, with the wind noise filter turned on. So as you guys can see, this is a pretty nice little mic that's perfect for you uh, DSLR videographers out there that want to get better audio going into your camera. And of course, Sennheiser has been making audio products for over 65 years, so they know what they're doing when it comes to audio. And I think you'll find the MKE 400 to be a great entrance into better sounding audio for your camera. Well, that's it for me, guys. If you have any questions or comments about this product, go ahead and post those below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. I read each and every comment on all of my videos. If you enjoyed this review, why not show some love to that like button down below? And if you want to stay up to date with all my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And as always, guys, make sure you stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review.